navigate to the Wi-Fi setting into our um, kind of short command and control center here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the Wi-Fi network and make sure that we are connected. All right, so we've successfully connected to my iPhone here and it's gone, it went ahead and saved. Our next step is we're gonna go into the camera view. We're gonna go over to the settings tab and down to the RTK tab in our settings. We're gonna go ahead and switch on RTK positioning. We're also gonna turn on maintaining position accuracy mode with the RTK. When we're going ahead and selecting our services, we're gonna to go to custom network, which means that we're not using DRTK mobile station. And we're gonna go ahead and input network ID, password, and configuration in this bottom tab here. In this case, we're using a company called Point One Navigation. I've been testing out their services and probably have flown a few hundred flights with them. And I would say for my area, it's worked pretty well. And I've got nothing but good things to say about these guys. We're gonna start with our in-trip address. And if we're doing Point One Navigation, we're doing polaris.point1nav.com. For this particular service, our port is gonna be 2101. We're gonna then go ahead and add in our account name as well as our password. And for this service, we're doing our mounting point or our mounting point is gonna be Polaris. I've already connected and we've already been receiving RTK correction signals from the drone itself. In this case, if you haven't already initialized the RTK positioning, we're gonna go ahead and come up to this top tab, flip it over and wait for the satellites and network to converge on a fixed RTK signal. In this case, RTK network is connected. We have strong signal and we're pulling information from 21 satellites. Thank you.